Less than 10 miles from the White House, a middle school is being terrorized by MS-13. It's called William Wirt Middle School. It's in Riverdale, Maryland. And it's one of many whose makeup has been changed entirely and almost overnight by mass settlement of unaccompanied minors entering this country from Latin America. Now, according to the Washington Post, MS-13 members in the school start fights, sell drugs, rape fellow students. Teachers say they fear being alone with a lot of these kids. They also fear saying anything about it because speaking out could cost them their jobs. It's a tragedy that can be traced almost entirely to U.S. immigration policy, but elites don't seem to care at all and, in fact, crush any conversation about it by screaming, racist! Needless to say, their kids will never attend William Wirt Middle School or anything even approaching it. Jose Aristamuno is a former DNC press secretary, and he joins us tonight. Jose, thank you for coming on. Good to be what with I you. found ironic about this story was this is this kind of third iteration of the MS-13 story. First, we were told they don't really exist. It's a figment of your racist imagination. Then we were told to attack them and call them names as immoral because they're good people. Okay. And now we have the Washington Post telling us in detail about how they've destroyed this middle school and are terrorizing the students. Are we allowed to acknowledge that or are we bigots for doing so? Well, no. Let me start by saying this. If you're undocumented in this country, if you're a criminal, including being a member of MS-13, we don't want you in this country and you should be deported. Part of the issue here, Tucker, is that people like yourself and some Republicans want to pinpoint and just simply say, because your first name Jose or you're Latino like me, I'm automatically an MS-13 gang member. And that is not true. A majority of um, okay, uh, immigrants you know, you're, in this country uh, you know, you're are ridiculous. Good Stop. You're a ridiculous person for saying that. I've never really? suggested anything like that. It's appalling that you would say that. I I'm don't say, think I'm that, and I've truth. never suggested it. I will what, speak you're, the not, truth. you're speaking a lie, and not for the first time. What I said is what I read in the Washington Post, which is self-identified gang members are destroying the school and terrorizing people. I bet you don't have kids at that school. I bet you never send your kids to that school. But you've got no problem with those people being in this country because it fits some sort of demographic you plan know that why? you approve of. No, that the is truth not is true. it's a disaster. That yes, is, it is not true. true. Let me, I just said it. If you're an MS-13 gang member, if you're undocumented, you should be deported. A majority of people who are undocumented. deported. No, no. Then why a have you consistently of people, a majority attacked of people, anybody? No. Yeah, right. Nobody has said that the majority of immigrants are criminals or bad. I'm not saying that. I don't think it. What I am saying is that we don't know that. the, the identity of people that. coming. He has not said that. You're lying for political gain, as always. What I have said, <laughs> and what I think many normal people have said, is that we don't know who's coming into this country. We don't know anything about them. There are 20 million of them living here. We don't know idea. their identities, I, I, their backgrounds. I got an idea for you. I got an idea And for some you. of them are bad people. Okay, so you know what we do? Let me tell you what we do. We pass comprehensive immigration reform. We legalize a majority of people. It would be a whole lot easier, Tucker, to actually look for the real criminals if we legalize the good ones. Don't you think so? How, how would, uh, yeah. I, I mean, I, it, it's hilarious that that solution comports exactly with your political goal, which is to create more democratic oh voters. Oh, my goodness. I mean, that's Give me a break. That's not, no. But you really? tell me, really? tell me rationally how if, if, Illegal immigration, the inability of the U.S. government to know who's living within its borders is mm. the problem. How encouraging more of it, which is what amnesty would do, is the solution. There's no logical so are you answer suggesting, to that because so are this you is suggesting not something you're deport? interested in solving. Okay, so your answer, and to many Republicans' answer, is to deport the 14 million uh, illegal immigrants and documented immigrants in this country. That's your solution. So we're deport, guessing, we're guessing at that. We're guessing at that number. Some people think it's 20 million. Okay, I think 20 million, 14 million. What do we do? When wage growth has been stagnant and the cost of everything is growing much faster than the growth in wages, you need to stop the ability of employers to hire cheaper people because they're here illegally. We need to make E-Verify mandatory. We you cannot we keep them here. hire we people here illegally. No, no. Look, if you knew, bothered to learn anything about this subject, if you took it seriously, if it were bigger than a I political take it, issue, I, I take you, it which very it's not. Seriously. No, you don't know nothing seriously. about it. Then Give you me a would break. find I am it. telling you, you that would, we have a you choice know to make as Americans. About it. I know more than you. Then why should I an know employer? More than you. you know nothing. You know nothing. I know more than why you. would an employer in this country be allowed to hire someone illegally, depressing wages for American citizens? What's you want to fix that? You want to fix that problem? We reform the system. We legalize the people that are already yeah, here. You could do That's it. That's what we you do. Legalize it. No, you could do it tomorrow. Why should employers be allowed to hire illegal aliens? 
I'm going to say it again. Look we right have the camera two and tell me why they should be allowed we to do that. We got two choices here, Tucker. We got two choices. We deport the 14 million or 20 million, whatever number, or we legalize them. This is just we another put them stupid in a political to citizenship talking point. So we can actually get him out of the shadow. No, we, you know get, we get him out of the shadow. I don't have time for conversations with people who don't know what they're talking about and haven't thought it through and want to come on and speak. You more talking points and call anybody who disagrees a racist, which is what you did in the very first sentence of this segment. Because that's what so you guys have done from the very beginning. Thank begin you. Yeah, you're, you're pathetic.